Hi, I'm Beckett from Courtside Sports, and today we're going to take a look at the new, brand new 2021 Babolat Pure Drive. So the key specs with the Babolat Pure Drive are going to be the same. You're still getting that 300 gram static weight. You're still getting the 32 centimeter balance point and 100 square inch head. The beam design is the same as well, but Babolat's got a few new technologies they've added just to refine the pure drive even further. So the first is called HTR and it's designed to increase the explosivity of the rocket and you kind of see this reflected in the RA stiffness as well. You're getting quite a stiff RA and that really is going to give a lot of energy return to the ball and you'll see that increased power and increased spin and increased stability um, from this new technology. Unfortunately, with the increase in stiffness, you usually get a decrease in comfort. So Bablat has addressed this as well with the SMAC and that's designed to filter out those harmful vibrations and make sure the Bablat Pure Drive plays comfortable for you. It's not going to bust your arm the way some of the older Pure Drives did. So let's get into the scores and find out how this new 2021 Pure Drive performs on court. So the Pure Drive really made its name for being a very powerful racket and here it totally delivers again. It's going to get a perfect 10 out of 10 for power. It defines the category of what a powerful player's racket is. I found it really forgiving on all areas of the court. A lot of the time I'd get pushed out wide but I had more than enough power to really get the ball back deep in the court and pretty much save the point for myself. The next category is spin. So here we're getting a score of seven and a half. The demo that I used was strung with a new blue version of Babolat RPM Power, which is not the most spin friendly strength, but I was still able to generate lots of RPMs on top spins and on slice balls. I knew that I was always gonna be able to use my spin to control the ball, control that power and keep my ball in the court, in the lines. Uh, and that's something I really appreciated. And even with the RPM power, I was still able to access quite a bit of spin um, pretty much on all my shots. Now the stability is something that I think is one of the more improved elements from this new version compared to the previous 2018 model. Despite that lower weight, I'm used to a little bit heavier spec racket, but I was really able to feel confident with each swing if I was really getting backed up, I've been playing on clay, so those high balls, I still felt their stability with the volleys. It was nice too. You could really just hold the frame out and trust it. Using that explosivity oriented HDR technology to really um, just push the ball, block the ball, drop the ball back over the net and into the court. Our next one is control. Here I was impressed again nicely. For me, it was strong with one of my favorite strings, RPM power, which really reigns in the control. That combo together, they work very well. So there were times here and there where I would get maybe a high ball, get a little bit too excited and I would spray it a little bit long, but that's just the adjustment you have to make in the game when you're going from a 95 square inch racket like I usually use up to the 100. Last up is feel and this is the area that a lot of people um, really struggle with the pure drive. So they say oh, it feels like an empty piece of plastic. It's not the most connected feeling racket there is on the market of course. It's not like your Pro Staff or your Yonex V Core Pro but the comfort has definitely improved over we've seen since the pure drive really got popular with the Andy Roddick we've definitely seen the comfort of this racket increase with I would say every generation just small refinements and that's going to contribute to the feel score of 6.5. One of my favorite things to do with the pure drive was definitely serve. It really offered a great blend of speed through so you could really accelerate the racket head. It delivered the spin on the kicks and the slices and tons of power. I felt like, not that I'm an ace machine or a John Isner monster server, but I really felt extremely confident in my serves and I think that's what the Pure Drive really is designed to do. It's designed to give you that confidence to swing big and dominate the court with power. It really encourages you to play big play it, that attacking 1-2 tennis that even at the pro level we see that first rallies under three shots, those are the points that win the match typically if you can be efficient on the return, which you get the stability with this racket for, if you can be aggressive on the serve, aggressive on your next shot after that, 
uh, really helps you end the points when you need to. Now, if you have any questions about the 2021 Battle Lab Pure Drive you want compared to any other racket on the market, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. I love getting into these kind of technical discussions with you guys about how rackets perform against each other. Don't forget to check out our website www.courtsidesports.com and we do maintain an Instagram at Courtside Sports. Something to note about the new 2021 Pure Drive is only the 300 gram 100 scoring track it is available um, for launch. You'll see that come up on our website quite soon. Um, early next year, kind of looking January, February time is when we'll see the rest of the line. So you're going to see the Plus, the Tour, the Team, the Light, and new to the line is the Super Light. Thanks for watching. I'm Beckett, and we'll see you next time.